Hello and welcome to week three. This is my first time using an iPad to make the announcements, so I'm trying iMovie, so this is my first one. So uh, be on the lookout for a lot of mistakes and things done poorly. Week two has led to uh, some very interesting discussions. Derek took this discussion opportunity to include his whole family. Beth posted a link so I could see the Oregon Trail experience that I somehow missed. Phil brought some insight into the use of uh, time tests and low-risk mistake-making, and Connie gave us an over overview of technology through time. Our discussions throughout the past two weeks have been outstanding, and they have been in-depth, so I appreciate everybody's uh, effort. These are just a few examples of what's making our classroom great. The results of our poll are in. 45% have voted for TV, while desktop computers come in a close second at 36% of the vote. 75% thought of us that the initial learning experience was meaningful, and I personally uh, believe that it's important to look back and think of our first experience with technology and learning because we can see changes, but most importantly remember how we felt during these learning experiences, whether they happened to be meaningful or not. Our week three focus is on the uh, Seven Things to Know project. There's no discussion this week, so this is a great opportunity for you to take some time and showcase your skills. I've been impressed with the different topics that everyone has chosen, so it's been uh, very interesting for me personally just to go through and see the topics. So in this project, remember you're not limited to text. Part of the assignment that gives you this ability is cr for creative expression as professionally formatted requirement. The uh, examples in our assignments area under examples are well done. They use color and they use uh, column formats, so they're, they're built to create impact. And that's what I want, want us to think about from this point forward with the products that you're making. As you go through the questions and the process of creating your final document, take a moment to think how you will impact the receiver of the information. This is your product. This is your brand. So uh, make it impactful because impact is what we're trying to accomplish. And if we can accomplish our goal of impact, we can create change and deeper learning. So uh, how can your document create the impact? First, make it visually appealing. Then uh, if you like, you don't have to, but if you like, feel free to take it a step further and you can embed video, you can embed uh, or link to video, you can uh, link or embed websites, you can do all sorts of different things if you choose. So I'm not saying that you have to do this, but my thoughts are just, uh, my comments are just put out there to hopefully provoke you to uh, think deeper on how you want to create impact with uh, the documents that you create.